Hey y'all, it's Jessica Ray Plays, and thank you so much for coming back to the channel for your brand new episode of The Sims 4 100 Baby Man Challenge. So here we are in the 100 Baby Man Challenge. I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. I have a lot to catch you up on and we are gonna be very busy in this episode because there's a lot of stuff happening, a lot of events and all kinds of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and I'll catch you guys in game. So here we are with Mr. Roberto and as per usual, Roberto has his beautiful face mask on it. Oh my gosh, is that leaves? What is that, like a leaf mask? Or like a marijuana mask I mean look at that looking cute okay but the events that I need to catch you guys up on so the toddlers I went ahead and I played a little bit today and I went ahead and got their skills all the way up to level three for all of them so they're gonna be aging up today and then our little babies Jackson and Madison today is also their birthday and it's Winterfest so we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff. It is 4.45 a.m. on a Wednesday. And if we make it to Friday, it will be Roberto's birthday, which I'm trying to hold off for that because I wanna say that for next episode. So today will probably be Winterfest, birthdays, and maybe Thursday. Just kidding, because we're aging them up today as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and we'll age literally everybody up in this beautiful house. Help blow out candles, Theodore. I really wish this is a time that I really wish we had a teenager because we could have a teenager come over here and like age these guys up. We could have had another birthday cake or anything to kind of help this process because this is going to take forever getting literally five kids aged up. And I do want to go and meet some new people today as well. And I have a little special surprise for Roberto and the whole gang and looks like he is aging up over here and oh my gosh okay wow <laughs> he showed with some crazy hair holy crap okay so let's see what he is he is naturally thin okay that's pretty cool and uh naturally thin maybe your motor that's kind of like what I'm gonna go with at least so yeah he aged up with some hello hello good hair over here uh <laughs> Probably definitely like Roberto's kid aging up with that hair like that. Looks like our hot dogs are disgusting as well. So I'll probably have him do that. Oh, and he actually aged up with some... Oh, he did. He aged up with one star. Oh, look at that. All of them birthday presents are coming in. Holy crap. Look at all of those kids. Oh my gosh. Okay. He is hungry, so that's good. We actually got some gummy pancakes and we got this whole area over here for him to eat. All right, and it's Meredith's birthday. Happy birthday, little bean. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for you to see what you look like. Okay, and she grows up to be a natural singer. Oh, that's pretty interesting because obviously she's gonna have fame and stuff like that. So I think it's kind of cool. And I'm gonna give her a social butterfly trait because I feel like that's pretty good for her. She actually aged up with not a lot of hair oh my gosh look at the birthday gifts oh my gosh and she's already got some like fame level obviously because of roberto so let's go ahead and add birthday candles for last time oh you <laughs> you little devil oh oh my gosh okay well can he go use the restroom and then we're just gonna age up these guys first because uh, I'm not doing the whole cake stuff again. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe I'm just going to go over there and just click on her and age her up. Because goodness gracious, that would take way too long. Oh my gosh, they just aged up by themselves. Look at that. There they are floating in the air. They just went ahead and just did it. They said, no dad, I got you. We can't age up ourselves. <laughs> And he is a charmer. Okay. And then Madison is silly. Okay. Well, I've never thought that would be like reverse, but that's cool. All oh, Maya actually sent him some gifts. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Oh my gosh. Okay. Seriously though, we need to delete all this. Birthday to you. I'm so glad we made that cake. I figured we could just click on her and age her up, but uh, I don't think that was an option. So I had to make a dang cake. She is a sporty sim. Wow. Okay. 
and we're doing a rambunctious scamp for her as well. And I bet we got all those gifts we did. Oh my gosh, there's like 20 billion of the gifts again. Here is what Theodore McKillen looks like. Meredith, here she is. Okay, yeah, she definitely looks like her mom. Rain, who is the crazy cat lady's daughter. I definitely say she looks like the crazy cat lady's daughter. And then we also have Madison Houston, which was his ex baby mama and wife. Okay, definitely cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I kind of would say they kind of got like that orange hair vibe. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my magic on Theodore and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I didn't want to spend too much time on Theodore because I really wanted to kind of like just show you guys what he looked like. But this is Theodore. I literally just did this one outfit with his hair and everything else. So this is what Mr. Theodore looks like. Definitely got that Roberto style. I went ahead and with his crazy hair. And now we have Miss Meredith who looks so freaking cute. I cannot wait to give her makeover and I'll see you all in right. a second. So here we are again with Meredith. Again, I didn't take all of her outfits into consideration. I literally just did her everyday wear. So this is what she looks like. Unfortunately, I do not have a short curly hair, but I really do like this. And since she is like a natural singer, I feel like she would kind of like dress up a little bit. So I definitely love her so much. So freaking cute. And then now we are finally on to Rain. And oh my gosh, now she has gray and here hair. Is, and here is gosh. little Miss Rain after hers. I definitely went a little bit more dark with her hairstyle, but I still think she is a very, very cute sim. She is a sporty, so I kind of went with like the shorts and maybe just kind of like a tank, but Unfortunately, they always have belly shirts for these little kids. Our last little two, Madison and Jackson. Jack okay, yeah, there we go. We got some bell bottoms going on and just like this really cute tank. Definitely looks cute. I'm gonna keep the eyes the same. I'm not gonna change them up. And then we're gonna go to Jackson really quickly. There you go, my dude. I am setting you up for success in life. There you freaking go. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. You know what they're missing? They're missing their blue bush. Their blue, blue bush. Their blue, blue. Their boo-boo bush. That's what they're missing. They're missing that. No wonder they looked all so different because they were like, ah, there's missing something. But there's what the kids look like and I can't wait to see you guys back in the game. So Mr. Roberto has a little surprise for the kiddos. He has been wanting to do this for so long. He actually wants to go back to Solani. He is not a big fan of winter at all. So he actually rented out a house for them to go to and spend Christmas with. Hey, what's up, Theodore? I noticed your name. Oh, no, no, we ain't doing all that. So we are actually gonna be heading out today and we're gonna go to Solani and have a beach Christmas, I guess. <laughs> so here is this beautiful house that Roberto has rented out for the week to enjoy, and especially since it's gonna be his birthday, he went ahead and did that as well. So he could spend some time on the beach. I definitely feel like the kids are gonna have a really fun time here. I mean, look, this one's already doing some buildings and castles and all that cute stuff. We actually really do have an excellent spot even back here. They've got a pool, which is what we had at the same house. We've got a kiddie pool. We've got a slide and we've got lemon, plantain, apple, and grow fruits. We actually have some pear, pomegranate, cherry, and plasma fruit as well. So he actually has some little herbs back here. And as for the rooms go, as you can tell, they are very, very much needed like a little makeover with. We have a toddler room, a toddler room, a toddler room, and we have one kid's room. So yeah, that's gonna have to change a lot. For now, let's just kind of see what everybody's doing. I hope everybody's really loving it so far. It looks like everybody's over here like dancing to music. He's getting a glass of water. Roberto is just admiring the paintings. Everybody is still in their winter costumes, as you can tell. Oh my gosh, okay, we need to change this outfit. There you go, buddy. Uh, oh, and we need to go to Christmas tree. All right, so here is our beautiful little Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. And we didn't have enough space, so I had to put some of the presents out here. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them to do this. So let's have them light tree with oh, Theodore, Meredith, and Rain. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. And we actually do have stairs in the house. So these little guys are going to have to come in here and like play in this ball pit like crazy. Or else they'll never be able to make it up the steps. I definitely feel like they grabbed this tree like out of the attic and like kind of like just threw it down there because it's definitely looks like it's kind of like missing some stuff. But oh my goodness, look how cute. 
When I pictured that Roberto was going to like change over a new leaf, this is exactly what I figured that he would do. He would totally come in here and just do more things with his kids, like decorating trees and putting cute stuff up just like this. Definitely feel like this is a good start for Roberto. I mean, he's definitely spending more time with his kids. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Now they've got it all fixed up and it's looking so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, and look, even more of our kids are coming in. We literally have, who is this, like Jasmine? <gasps> Jasmine's here. She's a proper celebrity. Dang, what have you been doing? Oh, because her mom. And then there's Derek. He's a rising star. Oh my gosh, was he our first kid? Maybe not the first kid, just kidding, but he was like pretty darn close up there. I wish I would have like numbered them like now. Let's go ahead and delete all this stuff. I can't believe we have our kids literally visited us, but all that makes it just even more special to have our, I guess now, adult kids coming over to visit us. And oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Oh, it's turning out so cute. And then we got one more, I think. And that is ornaments. Let's do, uh, let's just do red and gold. I think that's what we were doing before. Maybe we can actually get all of them in here to do this. Oh my goodness, the whole family is here. The whole family is putting really cute stuff together. Hey Roberto, I thought I could celebrate with you today for a while. Okay, it looks like we're getting more of our kids over here. <laughs> oh wow, this is a really, really pretty tree. And our little bean is over there dancing away. Go ahead, honey. You do you. What's our other kid doing? Oh, that's right. He's still over there doing his thing. Good. She reached level two. She can now climb stairs. That's what we wanted. And now let's um, place some presents under the tree. But he actually does need to fix a grand meal for everybody. I think especially since we have our kids over here, it would be really good for Roberto to do that. We already have a turkey dinner over here. <laughs> We've got some of our coconut pie that we just brought with us. So now let's go ahead and cook a grand meal and let's do, let's do ham. Let's do a ham dinner. I think that would probably be what's best. And literally they love having this like karaoke machine. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just so stinking cute. He is loving life right now. I mean, look at him. He's like, I, I'm loving the salami life, dad. Let's never go back, but we're gonna have him actually clean that up for us. Thank you, son. Cause we're actually making a brand new ham dinner for everybody. So for now, we're just waiting on Roberto to cook his grand ham dinner. And we've already getting people to ask advice and do all this fun stuff. And oh my goodness, who is this? Ella Caliente. It looks like the Caliente ladies have come on over and literally have just welcomed themselves in. They are our neighbors, but holy crap, I did not expect them just to come on into our house. But, you know, just because it is the holidays and we have not done any business with the Calientes, I definitely feel like Roberto would revert back to his old ways. He's like, look, I love my kids. I love fixing food, but I also have a goal in life. That is to reach 100 babies. Flair. Oh my gosh. And look, Maya, Mia just came over. Oh, but how cute is that? She came over here unannounced and she hugged her kid. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, though. Oh, so let's go ahead and call to grand meal as well. Call to grand meal. We're literally having like the whole neighborhood and then some of people over right now. I had no idea that this many people was going to come to our place. I had no idea that Mia would have showed up either. That's kind of like crazy. So go ahead. Let's call to Mia Roberto because I'm sure everybody's hungry. Everybody wants to eat. I guarantee it. I enjoy spending time with you. See you later. Oh, you missed the meal, but it's okay. It's fine. Go ahead and start our swagness with Miss Trina Caliente. She is the one that I did make over. So if you guys miss their beautiful makeovers, I gave them a gorgeous makeover, the Calientes. So you guys would definitely have to go in and check that out. She's already diving into our ham dinner. I mean, <laughs> I figured everybody would have want his ham. So now let's check in and see if she is. Nope, she's not. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Well, it's about time to open presents, but we really need to have babies with one or if not all three of the Calientes. That is something that I really want him to do before he turns into an elder because I feel like that's kind of like one of his goals in life. I have to go to this thing so I will see you another time. Okay, see you. But 
I definitely, oh my gosh, and Father Winter is here. So see, oh, look, and he even added more presents in. Oh, so, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Tradition complete. Yes, come out here, guys, and let's go ahead and ask Father Winter for presents. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Father Winter, he was getting in the pool. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? What? Wait, wait. <gasps> wait a second. What does that say on his butt? I have no idea what that's supposed to say, but oh my gosh. And look at my man wearing these heels, wearing this leopard. Holy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look, no joke. There goes Mrs. Claus. Oh my gosh, there's Mrs. Claus. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm getting a little too crazy, but that's like no joke. <laughs> so now we can actually ask Father Winter for our present, and then we can actually have everybody else come over here and do a friendly introduction with him. So come on kids, come on, do your thing. So we can ask for presents get all that stuff and oh my gosh he is killing me with that and oh my gosh she is not pregnant oh they got the lots of love bear oh my gosh that is so freaking cute let's see if we can do risky hookup in bed i don't know if maybe i don't know i wonder if one of like my mods is like interfering with the try for baby and stuff so maybe we just have to do it like the old fashioned way and literally just flirt it up. All right, so now that the kids have, I think everybody's asked him for the presents. It looks like a heart. Jackson is so exhausted. <laughs> he just made up the steps. Madison's just like down here like, yeah, right. I didn't even try to make it up those steps. Oh, and Winterfest is now over. Oh my gosh, well, that's a bummer. But I think they can still come out here and open all these presents, right? So open presents with... So we'll let everybody else kind of go ahead and do their thing because actually right now Faja is trying to do his thing as well. Oh my gosh, she got a pig, Charlotte's pig. So apparently the with is not working with the presents, but I am just having them go with there. We got a humor a festival bubble thingy. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Go ahead and let's just get everybody use the potties. What are you doing down here? Oh, he came all the way down here to open presents. Okay, so the game is paused right now. I just want to go ahead and apologize so much for this game being choppy and just crazy. There was a lot of stuff going on at the beginning with the lag and just everything was going crazy with this game. I'm not really for sure if it was the number of people obviously playing the Hunter Baby Man Challenge. Builds up a lot of people very quickly. We don't have anybody pass away because we're not, you know, letting our kids bypass us. So there's like a lot of people in the world. So then there was some lag. I had to go in and delete some people took care of that one and then obviously we could not try for a baby and the risky woohoo was not working so I figured out that it had to be one of my mods and it was it was wonderful whims it is just conflicting with my MC command center and MC woohoo so ultimately I did have to take that one out unfortunately I wish they would just give us that attraction feature and not have to give anything else but good news is is now that we can finally try for babies so I am probably going to be getting Roberto pregnant with these three ladies and then ultimately we will just go ahead and wrap up this video I don't feel like I was in it because I was so frustrated and aggravated I wasn't very comical I feel like I was kind of like short and dry in most parts <laughs> because I was just like ah it's not like doing what I want it to do but let's go ahead and I'll meet you in game finally it, we worked it out we can try for baby with her I did have to cheat up their flirtiness because I wanted to see if it was a mod before I exited the game so thank goodness it was just a mod and it wasn't anything crazy but let's just go ahead and do this and hopefully if she gets pregnant because now it is Thursday we literally wasted so much time trying to figure everything out and we have so much presents down here to open still tomorrow so tomorrow we might or maybe next episode we could probably still open up more presents and I need to come back in here one time sometime another and do a little overhaul on these kids rooms because we don't have enough rooms for everybody so hopefully that did work let's just go ahead and check and just pray that it worked oh my gosh two females <gasps> Roberto is finally having a girl finally finally it was like a boy like shebang forever but let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and just summon 
we're literally gonna just have to get him in here and vomit us and oh my gosh she was literally running like this like coming to see us like yes <laughs> my man's calling me back okay now let's go ahead and do this see look there's my try for baby Oh my gosh, I can't believe Wonderful Whims was literally contradicting that much with everything else. I mean, literally, there was even, there was not an option to try for baby. So obviously, it was just, I don't even know. But look at her. She's like cleaning up for us. Oh my gosh, I freaking love the Calientes so far. My boo is definitely, his hygiene's low because of the amount of woohoos that I made him and Katrina do. But we know now, we know. Um, uh, Katrina, just say yes, and let's go make this baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's pregnant with a male. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and just cheat up his need just a little bit, because I definitely just want to go ahead and get this over with, because obviously my mods messed everything up, and oh my gosh, if she's down here, like, stealing our stuff, take two of introducing ourselves, and hopefully this works. Our kids are actually off to school today unfortunately there we go we're finally going to be asking our final little lady to go upstairs and try for baby and she's like heck to the yeah of course i am and then roberto before and what's even more crazy who the heck are you paparazzi great oh that's right we're not like living in our nice like beautiful place so it's even better is that tomorrow he turns into an elder so the day before he turns into an elder, he's going to get three women pregnant, which is literally going to help him so freaking much, especially since, you know, when you become an elder, things just don't, you know, work as well as they do when you're an adult. So this is great for him. He's, oh gosh, we haven't even got any updates yet about his babies. Is he still at 75? He is. So we have not had any more kids. Oh my gosh, this is... This is getting kind of bad. I was hoping to get to 80 before he turned into an elder. I don't even know if we have mommies that are pregnant right now. But oh my gosh, Roberto, you better be doing your thing because tomorrow that thing is going to be not working so good. And let's just see what happened. Oh my gosh, please follow in your footsteps. <gasps> one female oh my gosh we did it roberto has now officially done the deed with all of the calientes oh my gosh Woo! such an achievement to do literally before you're turning into an elder oh well dang okay she busted out that kava real quick <laughs> oh my gosh that was hilarious so there's going to be some, definitely some things that's going to happen probably next episode. Definitely Roberto is going to be aging up. And oh my gosh, why are you walking in here so grumpy? She's like, I heard. Okay. Oh, it's the island welcome wagon. Oh, that's awkward. That's super, super, super awkward that... <laughs> Oh my gosh, the island welcome wagon just happened to be here and she was like, oh yeah, let me get this combo bow because I know my mom and my sister's coming over and I don't want them to know that I've been sleeping with you or I have a baby with you, but you know, I also don't know that my mom and my sister have babies with you. Wow. Talk, a, talk about a welcome wagon. That's going to be crazy. There's going to be four babies just from them. That's going to be epic. I mean, Roberto, honey, get up. Look at him. He's still sleeping and he, he eliminated me getting him up. He's like, no, I'm sleeping. <laughs> like, wake up. Wake up. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, it's too bad. Oh my gosh. You didn't get down here in time. What were you doing, Roberto? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, that definitely stinks. Okay, and our kids are miserable. They are all hungry. They all need baths. Holy crap. Where is all of our food at? Did literally, where's our food? I hope, oh my gosh, we literally only have cake left. Well, it looks like they're gonna be getting cake today. I literally could have swore that they had, oh, wait, what? How many cakes do we, <gasps> Oh my gosh, look how many cakes we have. Nico Landgrab made that one. Derek Goth made that one. Derek Goth made that one. And Octavia Bailey made that one? Wait, when did Octavia Bailey came in? She's a ghost. Like, we 
you know, we did the thing with her. You know, we did the whole Black Widow challenge with her where we kind of, you know, you know, <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on? That is some magic cake right there. Holy crap. But Roberto is down here making some food because obviously we don't want to be feeding our kids cake all the time, like literally all the time. Like when we have like we have like four cakes, which is crazy. So I am gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. I know it was probably crazy and I do apologize, but I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday is gonna be another bonus video. So definitely look out for that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little heads up if you are watching this video. Tuesday is going to be the trailer for the new expansion pack that's gonna be coming out hopefully November maybe and there is going to be a giveaway inside that video for you guys So definitely be checking that one out because I'm going to do another giveaway for that one And it'll be for that expansion pack. So definitely be looking for that and you know Make sure you read all the rules and do all the rules so that I can enter you into that But I am going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. I love you all so so much Thank you all so much for coming in to this crazy. I don't even know what you want to call this episode It was just a lot of glitches a lot of craziness But thank you guys just so much for your all support It really does mean the world to me and I hope you guys are just having an amazing and blessed day I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye guys Bye